Following their big Hell in a Cell win, it was advertised by the WWE that on Raw, the Judgment Day will be adding a new member to the group. So of course, everyone was intrigued. The new member turned out to be Finn Balor, but it was at the expense of another member. Edge, the leader in fact. We're going to dive into why this has happened, why Edge was kicked out of the Judgment Day in just a second, so stay tuned. What's up Maniacs, my name is Mex, I'm a wrestling fan, a wrestling enthusiast, a WrestleManiac if you will. And right here at WrestleManiac UK, I discuss everything that's WWE and AEW, so if this sounds like the place for you, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell as well so you get notified each and every time I drop a new video. Without further ado, let's get into this one. So of course there were many names around the rumour mill, you know, T-Bar, Tomasa Champa was probably one of the front runners, Finn Balor as well that was going to join the Judgment Day, it actually turned out to be Finn Balor and to be completely honest, I thought it was going to be Finn Balor after Hell in a Cell when there was like a long wait when Judgment Day won the match and Finn Balor was just lying on the ground. I thought, I don't know, they were going to pick up his body and take him backstage, some kind of like sacrificial symbolism and then yeah, he would join the Judgment Day. So I wasn't too surprised when Finn Balor walked out as the new member of Judgment Day. Now, everything changed once he got into the ring. He started cutting his promo and I was thinking, why is he all kind of happy, happy, smiley? This seems a bit odd. You know, he's pandering to the crowd as he came out, doing all his arm lifting and all of that kind of stuff. And I did feel like something was in the air. I wasn't quite convinced this segment would end with just, you know, Finn Balor joining these guys and that's it. So when Damien Priest took to the mic in this segment to then go on and say that they're shedding all the limitations from their character and that includes shedding edge from the group, I was like, what? You're taking the leader out of the group. You're taking him out. Like, this is the guy that brought you guys together. That's actually made you guys stronger. And now you guys are kind of positioning Finn Balor as this new leader and beating Edge out of here. And they beat him up. They pop up, put him through a table and all sorts, you know, broke the chair leg like they do and then stuck it in his mouth while they're doing the whole, you know, cross face kind of thing. Like they proper beat him up. Edge left on a stretcher, probably signaling that he's gonna be off TV for at least the next couple of weeks. I felt Edge was doing good. I loved the formation of the group, their theme, you know, their whole packaging, everything around them. I was really, really enjoying it and you know, for me, it doesn't make sense for them to come and insert Finn Balor as the leader. If they want to just insert him as another member, then cool. But inserting him as a leader when the likes of Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley before Finn Balor are learning from a Hall of Famer. Who is there better to, to, to learn from? Do you understand what I mean? Like, you've got rid of him to learn from Finn Balor who... Let's be completely honest, as much as I love Finn Balor, he hasn't achieved anything on the main roster. A US title run here, an IC title run there, but he ain't achieved nothing compared to Edge anyway. So why would you kick out your Hall of Famer tutor, the guy you're, that's mentoring you, to go and get under the learning tree of Finn Balor of all people? It sounds harsh, but come on, Balor and Edge in WWE, we cannot compare the two. Edge is light years ahead of Balor and what Balor has achieved. So that didn't make sense to me as a reason as to why they have made this decision. Our next thought of maybe the obvious is Edge carrying some type of injury. I looked back at Hell in a Cell and I thought, did he get hurt in that match? I can't remember him getting hurt in that match. And of course, he's still done the whole segment tonight. So I don't think it's an injury that they are kind of saving him from. I guess it's yet to come out if there is anything on that. But there is one last thing that came to me like literally like a light bulb as to why they're doing this. And I even said this in my wrestling group chat a day ago or so. It's because there are no stars in WWE. I fully believe with Cody being out for probably an extended period of time, I know he's teasing the money in the bank. That's all BS. He ain't gonna be there in my opinion. That, that peck right there, that looked like a mad thing. Cody ain't gonna be there. Cody's gonna be out. Randy Orton is out. Roman Reigns is like part-time now. They need stars in this company. And I think they are going to turn Edge back to a face. 
they're gonna turn him to a face to be one of the figureheads in this company at least over the summertime period i know they're celebrating cena 20 years but it's the same kind of thing why they're bringing back john cena i knew that they were going to have to pull something because cody was doing so much heavy lifting for them so much heavy lifting that the guy's peck broke <laughs> literally like so now they're turning to their stars of yesterday that yeah they can still do it but it's the question we always ask when it comes to wwe why are you not pushing the new guys why are you not creating new stars and we say new there's just guys in the mid card that could occupy these higher positions eg like finn balor this could have been a perfect time where like, okay, Finn Balor's established, people love him as a face, let's maybe put some type of rocket to him and give him a lot to do over this next six months, let's see how he gets on. But no, they've turned back to Edge, which I don't even have an opinion on right now, I don't know if I'm angry with it or up, upset at the whole fact that Judgment Day has just kind of seemingly come to nothing, even though it looked like it was coming good, like... It's just WWE reverting back to what they know. I'm pretty sure Edge will come back in a couple of weeks and he will be this face that wants to take down Finn Balor and the Judgment Day. Maybe he goes on to have some really good and big important matches um, in the next couple of pay-per-views, Money in the Bank, SummerSlam. This is just for star power and yeah, for me, I can't see another reason. I'll wait for, you know, all the dirt sheets and all these places to come out and say the reason why Edge was kicked out of the Judgment Day. But for me it's pretty much clear that they are struggling for star power right now through injuries and part-timers and all of these other kind of things and they want to turn edge back to a face so at least he can be one of the prominent figures across the brand across wwe whilst they kind of figure out how they're gonna you know fill these other holes but guys i've done a lot of talking i want to hear from you put down below in the comments your thoughts on finn balor firstly joining the judgment day and now seemingly becoming the leader as the judgment day kicked out edge from the group i want to hear your thoughts on the whole faction and everything around it and my opinion as well on maybe they're just reverting back to edge being a baby face it'd be great to hear from you guys if you enjoyed today's video make sure you like the video and if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified each and every time i drop a new video wrestlemaniac uk signing out and i'll see you soon